Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Solar Photovoltaic Operation and Maintenance for Residential, Commercial, and Utility Systems. We're here today to talk about solar modules and some of the failure modes of solar modules. Solar modules can fail in a wide variety of ways, and this video is just to give you a very simplistic overview of this subject. If you want to get more detail, I would recommend that you purchase the book and read the full range of faults that can occur with these solar modules. So we're going to start off by looking at the individual components of the solar module, and that is the solar photovoltaic cell, which is this guy. So these individual squares that you see in the solar modules, each one is a piece of silicon and it gives out about half a volt. Um, you should look at each one of these as being comparable to a battery. And that's how they're connected. Each cell, the positive from each cell connects to the negative to the cell next to it and so on throughout the module, just like batteries. And one of the most obvious failures that you get on these modules is the actual solar cell failing. Now, if the solar cell fails, you'll generally lose the voltage from the internal string, which is the series connected group of cells in that particular string. And this module has two strings. So these two are connected together internally, and these two are connected together internally along the full length. And they are actually connected as one string in the junction box, which we'll look at later. So if one of these cells fails, you'll lose half the module, basically. So another failure that occurs is these, what are called bus bars, these two are actually the same voltage and they actually connect together through these little internal lines that you see that bring out the voltage to the bus bars and connect on to the back of the cell next to it. And what happens is if they're poorly soldered, you'll start to get a hot spot. And that hot spot, when it gets hot enough, may actually shatter the glass in front of it. And you get a characteristic breakage effect known as the butterfly effect. And that is discussed in the book. If you want to know what that looks like, it's actually in the book that I recommend that you have a read of. Uh, another fault that you get occurs right here. And this is where the positive and negative of the adjacent solar cells connects together. And if this connection breaks under load, which quite often can occur as the modules age, you'll get an arcing connection. And that arcing connection will be just like an arc welder. You'll see it flashing away if you're around it. And if you come to the module after an arcing connection, you'll generally find that the glass is broken. And also, this backing sheet is also damaged. You'll see a hot spot on there. And in a severe arcing connection, you may actually find that the whole module has destroyed itself. But that's only in very severe cases. Typically, it's broken glass with a burn mark on both the front and the back of the module, these types of bolts. So let's go and look at the module frame itself. And you can see that the module frame is generally aluminum frame, and the solar module is a sheet of glass with the solar cells underneath it and a backing sheet. And sometimes this backing sheet can be white, sometimes it'll be black, and sometimes it'll be a piece of glass. So it all depends on your solar module. But what can actually happen is the insulation can break down in the solar module between the frame and the solar module, and the backing sheet, and when that happens, you may see water ingress in the module. And the thing to look for with water ingress is staining. You'll see staining occurring inside the module. And it's very important that you're aware that if the insulation has broken down on the module, they're very, very dangerous. There can be 600 volts to 1,000 volts on these solar modules, particularly if they're wet. So you should be very, very careful about going near wet solar modules because they may well have an insulation fault on them. And the only way to fix an insulation fault is to replace them. And again, an insulation fault where it started to delaminate and corrode should actually be covered under the manufacturer's warranty. So let's have a little look at the back, and you'll see the labeled ratings on the back. 
And a very important value to pay attention to is this one right here, 600 volts. So you can connect these solar modules together in series, like batteries, up to that rating. They're actually tested and certified to work up to that voltage when connected in series. And you need to temperature adjust these ratings in order to get to that voltage as solar modules are affected by temperature when looking at their voltage. So one of the problems that you get on the back of these modules is damage to the backing sheet. So you should always be inspecting the backing sheet for damage. This one's good. And if you find a burn mark or you find that the, the backing sheet is actually been damaged, punctured in any way or ripped, you should actually replace the module. So one of the things that's going on inside the junction box is we have these diodes. So there's two diodes in this module because we have two strings of solar cells internally in the module. And you can see the connections coming up through the back of the solar module to the box. And something to pay attention to is whether they're actually physically damaged. And these ones are good. But they can actually fail in open or short circuit. Now, they quite often will fail in a burned mode, so you may actually see them charred. Uh, if they got very hot, they may have actually damaged the junction box. And in that case, they should actually be returned to the manufacturer for repair. And if they do actually fail internally, it's probably covered under warranty, so you should speak with the manufacturer. So there's some faults that you get on these solar modules. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and if you wish to find out more about the faults that you'll find on solar photovoltaic modules, it's in my book. I wish you the very best of health, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.